is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And good news, we're tracking more snow in the forecast here across the front range and even into the plains might see a little bit of snow Thursday morning. But better news for the mountain snowpack doing quite well after a very active end of November. You can see statewide at 117%, the Arkansas River Basin at 125. And when I last showed this graphic, it was November 13th. The San Juan and Dolores Basin was down under 20% thanks to a lot of snow in the San Juans. We are now up over 100% there as well. Vale Village, things are looking quiet as we take you live out there tonight, but We've got a good two to five inches of snowfall in your forecast as we make our way into Wednesday and Thursday and more expected in the Rocky Mountains as we head towards the upcoming weekend. Here is the storm we're tracking for the middle to end of the work week. This is the first waves of energy that moves in tomorrow morning with maybe a few flurries or some drizzle. The main system still about 500 miles to the west southwest of San Francisco that moves in. Thursday morning. So tomorrow, good looking forecast to get out, take the dogs out for some exercise or maybe get an early morning run. 10 a.m. It'll be dreary. Could see some drizzle or some flurries. 45 degrees looks great for the afternoon. Decreasing clouds 54 and then dark and uh, getting cold outside by around 6 o'clock as we drop back down to 42. So here's the initial wave of moisture. This moves in tomorrow. It's all tapped into this atmospheric river or the Pineapple Express. That's basically a conveyor belt of moisture that comes in from the subtropics. And for California, it means a lot of rain here over the next day, day and a half. For us, it's going to weaken considerably as the low moves off to the east. And with that trajectory moving over land quite a bit before reaching us, that system won't have quite the punch as we're seeing out there tonight. So here's what we see as we look ahead. Rain and snow expected on Thursday morning into the afternoon. Snow level is going to be pretty high, around five to 6,000 feet. That means for most of the plains and even areas for central and southern El Paso County, Pueblo County, probably going to be mostly a rain event. So when does it pick up? I think it's going to be well after midnight. We'll start to see some rain and snow, probably between 3 and 6 a.m. And this right here is the latest model run, actually a little bit slower than what I showed you at 5 and 6 o'clock, now pushing it back maybe even a few more hours than what we showed earlier in the evening. Still think we'll end around 3 to 6 p.m. And by the dinner hour, most of the rain and snow should be off to the south and east. Here's some updated snowfall forecast maps. I'm going to break it down region by region. Highest amounts for the higher elevations, the Palmer Divide, Woodland Park, these areas between one and three inches. You can see closer to town for the airport in the springs, probably talking about a trace to maybe an inch. Heading into Pueblo, not a lot of snow here, maybe a light dusting. More than likely, it's more rain than snow this go around. But as you head up towards Canyon City, Florence, Penrose could see between a trace and one inch and Westcliff could see around one to three inches as well. As we take it down south into the mountain areas, Kuchar around one to three, the La Vida Pass one to three inches, but Aguilar, Walsenburg, Trinidad expecting less than an inch of snow with this upcoming storm. So not a significant snowmaker, not like what we saw about a week ago on Tuesday, but probably some impacts for your Thursday morning drive to work. Tonight, very cold out there in the San Luis Valley for the rest of us, mostly looking at teens, 20s, and 30s for overnight lows. Highs tomorrow are going to be down again from what we saw today and way down from what we saw on Monday, but still above average. 46 Monument, 45 Woodland Park, 54 in the Springs on Wednesday. We dropped down more than 10 degrees for Thursday as we'll be uh, gusty and cold with some snow in the morning and early afternoon. Rebounding beginning on Friday with 48 expected for the high. Gets much warmer than that on Saturday with a high of 60. So the weekend looking good as the next system has also been pushed back uh, maybe into Monday as opposed to Sunday what we were looking at yesterday. For Pueblo, 57 degrees, your high on Wednesday. A mixed bag of precip Thursday. I think it's more rain than snow again for Pueblo and Pueblo County. Canyon City will see cloudy skies and dry conditions Wednesday, but a mix of precipitation on Thursday, dry Friday, and a great looking start to the weekend. And a Woodland Park, maybe a few snow flurries early on Wednesday, but the main system rolls in here Thursday. Could see a few inches of snow to end the week. Dry skies returning Friday and Saturday, and some great looking weather weather expected for the Woodland Park tree lighting ceremony that is on Saturday with a high of 53. Elizabeth.